Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Cradle to Grave, Part 2, and our scripture is 2 Timothy, Chapter 3. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we're wrong and teaches us to do what is right. And in Paul's letter to the church at Colossae, Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else, and he holds all creation together. I'm aware with the next few sentences I will offend some people as well as get a few amens from some others. However, like Martin Luther, when asked to recant his condemnation of a church gone dark into selfishness and spiritual death, he said, I cannot and will not recant anything, for to go against conscience is neither right nor safe. Here I stand, I can do no other, so help me God. Amen. So, here goes. Abortion is a wrong choice. Did you hear that click? Half of those who heard the click just tuned out. For those with an open mind still reading and listening, I did not make a sexist, misogynistic statement. I didn't even mention sex or gender. Abortion is a medical procedure assaulting a living being inside a woman's body with the intent to cause death. My reason for writing this is to address the faulty reasoning for making the decision to abort a living being. The primary case that has been made for abortion as an acceptable choice has always appealed to women's rights. Certainly, that presupposes only the rights of the woman carrying the unborn child and not the rights of the child within the womb. My argument is not against women or rights, however, rather a contention with unsound logic. In yesterday's devotion, I held up two principles. Scripture is authoritative in matters of my life, and Jesus is the only arbiter of my actions because he is the center of Scripture's content and purpose of Almighty God. Now, with that as my marching orders, the only honest and objective conclusion about abortion is that it violates every tenet of Scripture's profile of life. The point is, if God thought enough to create us in the first place and clearly stated that every life is valuable, even the sparrows, as much as even the hairs on your head, arbitrarily snuffing out a life for the sake of convenience is wrong. The hermeneutical principles of interpreting scripture demand that no scripture contradicts another scripture. There may be contrasts, such as describing one side of an elephant then turning to the trunk or tail with a different description, but the elephant is still one cohesive being. And the elephant of scripture is God's cohesive treatise on life. All else, save protecting life, fails eternally. Note the contrast in Jesus' own words from the passage where he describes himself as the good shepherd and what God's purpose was for sending him. John chapter 10. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. If life is the supreme good which God was in gifting to all humanity, the enemy's purpose in this discussion, abortion, is a declaration of war. For you today, well, I've stated the position I hold, or rather that I see God holds, and I cannot do less than affirm. Tomorrow, we'll consider the sexist issue. Stay tuned. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.